Alright, it's that time again. What's up guys? X Wrestler here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to, I guess, improve your CSGO game, how to boost it, I guess, to where you'll get higher FPS and you know your video will look better or your quality of your game will look better and it'll run faster, making it therefore making it easier for you to, you know, get good kills, you know, high score, you know, whatever you're going for, win the competitive game. You know, it's all up to you. Uh based on what you want, I guess. And so this is basically all the settings I run on and it's what I use to I guess make my gameplay better and stuff like that not necessarily my gameplay but my game itself and making it therefore easier for me to play and everything like that so I'm gonna be going through and showing you today what um, my settings are and how I think you should run yours and so alright so basically you should always run CSGO from Steam so you open up Steam here and you go to your library obviously there's CSGO Let's go back like this. There we go. So here's CSGO, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, obviously, is what it's called. And if you right-click on it and go down to Properties, um, and then you go over to Set Launch Options, this is where you'll be able to set up your auto exec and stuff like that. And basically what that means is you can full, fully customize your game even more further than what you could and you know make it a little easier for you and stuff like that. So here is all of my settings. I can go ahead and paste them down in the description below. But basically, obviously, if you want to copy the exact same thing I have, obviously, like I said, I'll put it down in the description below. But basically, I'll go ahead and run you through how all this works and you know what settings you're going to need and everything like that. So basically, right here is, oh, what's it doing? Right over here is your width by your height, right here. Your, my, it go, you do your little line, your little line, which is the same thing as your underscore key. You do line, W, space, your width. A lot of people like 1920 by 1080, which is HD, but I'll, I use a 16 by 900. And, you know, basically, all right, so I'm going to show you one thing right here. If you go down, I'm running Windows 8 personally, but if you go down here and then you go down to Device Manager, it'll show you, you know, all your stuff. And then you can go down here to Monitors. Look at your monitors. I have two AOC, or AOC 2060W3s. Those are my monitors. So basically, if you want to, um, if you want to, you know, know what settings you need to run for your monitor, you just open up Google Chrome and then let me see, open up where is it? Right here. I'll move this over to my other screen. Whoops, move that over to my other screen. So basically you just want to Google the name of your monitor. So I have an AOC twenty sixty like so. W three like that. And I have a nineteen point five inch and there it is there's Best Buy you can go to a link like Best Buy or anything like that pretty much because basically what's that gonna do is you're gonna be able to go down and go down to your specifications and you'll be able to learn everything about your monitors if you can't find it anywhere else so basically now that you have that you can scroll on down here and it'll show you your horizontal frequency it'll show you your refresh rate and pretty much everything you need to know here and it'll show you like where is it um i run a, a 16 by 9 resolution but you know it's basically all um your your based on your monitor your tv or whatever you're running on so i have a width 16 by 9 and then you have a space and then you have another dash and then FRAQ which is hor the horizontal frequency and or um, yeah and mine is run on 83 because like it says right here on the website mine goes for 83 right there and then after that you have your refresh rate which mine is 60 Hertz yours could be 144 Hertz you know it's all based on what you choose I guess and or what fits your TV monitor whatever the best and then after that we have process heap which just makes it run a little bit better no vid which skips the um, beginning little segment of your counter-strike game makes it a little faster run a little easier everything like that no joy same thing and then hi, all right whoops went too far oh my bad hi <laughs> and then all right let's go ahead there we go high tick rate uh, 128 that means your tick rates 128 for the video and everything like that your threads 3 um, your Mac Q mode 2 and auto exec that makes the little uh, file and everything like that and um, that you can customize and your settings and everything like that I can make another video showing you what you need to put in your auto exec 
things I have in my auto exec and how to fully customize your game even further. I can make that later. But and then also we have CL underscore force preload one, which basically means um, it forces your preload for the map and everything as it's loading in, so it makes you load a little faster and it makes you like get into the game faster than you normally would. And with all of these, I can put down in the description below. But basically, with all of this, you know, in my game, it definitely I can definitely see a huge difference can definitely see a huge difference so that is my startup commands and everything like that and let's see if we go ahead and then we just press close or whatever on this alright so basically here we are we're in steam we're ready to start up counter-strike so if we just press play here it's preparing to launch counter-strike and there it goes it's opening up counter-strike right now the screens black and it's gonna pop up in a second there it goes it doesn't have the little loading screen in the beginning or anything like that it's just straight up done that's it it's loaded and then it just runs faster and better and then as you can see I'm getting around 60 to 70 FPS just sitting here where normally I'd get about 40 to 50 so it definitely does boost your game a lot and it makes the video quality a lot better so if you do enjoy please drop a like down below I definitely suggest doing this if you did enjoy as I said drop a like down below second time you're saying that and I'll see you all in the next time. Bye.